a lot of shows with a lot of polarizing characters, and a lot of those characters happen to be the protagonists of those shows. But I don't think any hold a candle to miss Carrie Bradshaw. If you're a fan of Sex and the City, you know what I'm talking about. If you're not, you're about to. Or not. I mean, I can't force you to watch the video. Although I do love Sarah Jessica Parker. She does a mwah, magnificent job. What a show. I just want to make that clear. I think she's actually well written. I believe she's a human being. I get her. It's just, um, you don't always love what you get. You know, sometimes you get a gift at Christmas and you exchange it. But Carrie did not come with a receipt. Carrie sucks. And here's why. So I think it's worth noting that the show was built around four women and their friendship. And Carrie is not a very good friend. <laughs> so for example, she's supposed to meet Miranda at a restaurant. She stands her up because she's hanging out with Big instead. That's not unforgivable. Things happen, lose track of time. Is it annoying because it was the 90s and she couldn't text her or anything like that? Yeah. But is that unforgivable? No. However, Carrie does Miranda, patron saint of girl bossery dirty, so many times. Like when Miranda needs Carrie's help because she's injured her neck and she needs to go to the hospital and Carrie sends Aiden, her boyfriend at the time, to help instead. And I'm like pretty sure Miranda was also naked when that happened. Not the greatest thing to do, at least she sent in someone to help, but, you know, not the best. Um, so how does she make it up to her? Well, she brings Miranda some bagels, which Miranda loves. However, she forgets the cream cheese. Now this disappoints Miranda, understandably so. The worst part is why Carrie forgot it, which is because she was preoccupied with her own problems, and not only that, but that is actually why she has come over, to talk about herself and not to apologize for abandoning her friend in a medical emergency. There are lots of other examples, like when she gets mad at Charlotte for not offering her $10,000 to fix a financial problem regarding her living situation, when she forces everyone to go on a birthday escapade that not even the birthday girl wanted to go on, and general bitch-assery. Secondly, her lifestyle is unrealistic, and I want it. Carrie lives in an enormous apartment in New York where the rent is only $750 a month, and not only that, but she makes it on a freelance writer's salary. It's not only that, but she still has enough left over that she can spend $40,000 on designer shoes. Just another unrealistic expectation for women. It's misogyny. The fact that I cannot have that life is misogyny to me specifically. Now Carrie writes a sex and relationships column. Great, sounds fun. God, I wish that were me. However, her view on sex and relationships is interesting. Throughout the series, you will find her not only slut-shaming Samantha for having too much sex, but then shaming Charlotte for not having enough. I would love to know what the right amount is. Could someone please enlighten me? Apparently Carrie is the only person on the planet that knows, so uh, everyone please take notes. Let's discuss what happens with her and Aiden. As you may or may not know, Carrie uh, starts dating Aiden and then she cheats on him with her ex, Big. Now when did she decide to tell him this? Well, it should come as no surprise to you that Carrie chose to wait until the day of Charlotte's wedding where Aiden was going as her guest. What better day than a day of love and celebration? At this point, I found myself Googling the psychopath test to see how many things on the checklist Carrie marked off. Now, if you know me, you know I'm not the biggest fan of Aiden, but that being said, you don't do that to another human being. You just do not. Also, way to make Charlotte's day about you. Charlotte's first marriage was a disaster, okay? That wedding was all she had, and Carrie took it away from her. It disgusts me. 
Carrie is a very bad girlfriend. Uh, yeah, I know, shockingly, Carrie the serial cheater is not the greatest GF ever. Not only does Carrie cheat on Aiden with Big, but when they do end up getting back together, she cries and demands he forgive her when he is a little more distant than he was in the past, because you know, cheating, and says he's making her feel guilty. Now in therapy, they'll let you know that only you are in control of how you feel. If you were feeling guilty because of something bad you did, maybe it's just because of that thing that you did that was bad. Revolutionary concept. Other questionable things Carrie did when she was in a relationship include, but are not limited to, following Big to church so she could spy on his mother, slamming the door in Aiden's face when he wasn't ready to sleep with her yet, not wearing the engagement ring Aiden got for her, and when she got mad at Big for being divorced. <laughs> and another thing. So Aiden takes Carrie on this little trip to a cabin he has in the countryside, which is just a different part of New York. And do I think it's a little unfair that Aiden asked her to do this when he won't really ever go out of his comfort zone for her? A little bit. However, she invites Big, the man she cheated on Aiden with. Why? Why would you do this? Especially because this came after she and Aiden had had a conversation about Big's role in Carrie's life and Aiden said that Big made him uncomfortable. Really amazing to see a healthy relationship on TV where both partners love and respect each other equally. Speaking of healthy behavior, she stalked Big's wife just a little bit. Uh, could it necessarily be classified as stalking? I don't know, that might be a little extreme. Carrie and Big were having sex when he was married to Natasha, and she caught them. And then a little while after the fact, Carrie followed her around to force her forgiveness. If you were feeling, you were feeling guilty, guilty because, because, of because of something bad, bad you did, you did. Maybe, maybe it's just, just because, because of that, of that thing, thing that you did that, you did, that, was, that bad. was bad. She just shows up and is like, hey girly, remember when I used to have sex with your man? Could you please forgive me for that? Who? Why? What? Where? And when? <laughs> As you've probably gathered, Carrie has a major character flaw that can explain most, if not all, of her behavior. She's selfish. Pretty much everything she does is for her and about her. That's not to say she never does anything for her friends or to be supportive. But like, that's a smaller piece of the pie, my dear. Carrie sort of prided herself on being untamable, but it's more accurate to describe her as just being in arrested development. She's childish, point blank. Carrie does kind of suck. End of rant.